Silver Raid by Nandini Nair. One day in the late summer of 1638, the sun was rising over the thick forest in Nagarhol. Jaya bathed and filled her pot from the Kabrini River. As she walked home in her wet Pavadai Sati, she called out to Deva cheerfully. Deva! Deva, the elephant calf, hopped out of the thicket. On other days, Jaya and Deva would play in the river, splashing about and spraying water at each other. But today, Jaya held Deva's trunk and said, Deva, today, Appa might return from my Suru. I'm going to run home. Jaya's father was the chief of the biggest tribe in Nagarhol. The king of Mysuru had sent his guard to the forest to summon him. The king wanted advice on herbal medicines. Jaya's father had taken special herbs and honey to the royal court a week ago. I'll bring you some Mysore pack. Jaya hoped her father had remembered to keep his promise about the sweet. Deva trumpeted happily as he saw his little friend hurrying home, balancing the pots on her head. When Jaya neared her home, she saw people crowding there. Ah! Appa is already home! She said. She poured the water from the pots into the cleaned trough in the cow shed and ran into the hut. The cows moved and walked to the fresh water. Jaya's father lifted her up and seated her on his lap with a big smile. He was telling the people from his tribe about Mysuru, the new king there, the magnificent palace, a throne made of pure gold, the wide roads, the crowded markets where everything was available, and the huge temples. He said the city was getting ready for a big festival called Dasra. He said, During the festival, the king himself leads a grand parade of royal deities, noble families, military officers, soldiers, dancers, camels, horses and elephants. The people listened in wonder as they sucked at their Mysore park. Please take me to Mysuru, Appa, Jaya said. It is very far, daughter. Your legs are too small for the long journey. This year I'll take your brother for the Sarah, said her father, patting her head affectionately. Jaya jumped out of his lap and darted into the forest. Deva snorted joyfully on seeing his best friend again. Jaya ran to him and buried her face in his trunk, sobbing. I can walk too, Deva. You know that. But Appa will only take my brother to Mysuru. I do want to see the Dasara parade. Deva wrapped his trunk around Jaya and lifted her. Placing her gently on his back, he began to run towards the open field. Jaya knew this was not safe for Deva. Stop, Deva! she yelled. But Deva burst out of the trees and ran across the field. Jaya was shocked to see that the field was teeming with people and elephants. Deva, turn back! Jaya pulled his ears, but Deva was in no mood to listen. He finally stopped in front of a chariot. This is a very majestic elephant calf, said a finely dressed young woman in the chariot. Jaya soon learned that people had come from the Mysuru palace to select elephants for the Jambu Savare, the elephant parade at the Dasara. Turn back, Deva! Jaya fearfully shouted into Deva's large ears. Deva shook his head. He took one step forward. Little miss, said the woman in a happy voice to Jaya, can your Deva come for the royal parade? Jaya was very scared for Deva. No! She shouted boldly. He belongs here, in the forest. Of course, he will return to the forest after the parade. I promise. The woman's voice was reassuring. Jaya felt Deva was in safe hands. Also, she was so 
proud for her Deva. But Deva won't have any friend in Mysuru, said Jaya after some thought. Surely he will have you. I can see how close you both are. In fact, you can teach him the royal march. Me? wondered little Jaya. Yes. Why don't you bring someone along? You are too young to take care of yourself, smiled the woman. Can I bring three someones? asked Jaya playfully. Definitely. And tell them they are the guests of the king of Mysuru. That's how Jaya went to see the lights and the fireworks of the great Dasara festival in Mysuru with her brother and parents. The graceful dancers, the smart soldiers, the brilliant band, the brightly decorated elephants, camels and horses were all very fascinating. But Deva was the most elegant of all and it was for Deva that Jaya and her brother cheered the loudest.